Hi everybody. Um, obviously you guys know my name, Elisha Mwembo. It says so on the on the um, the title of the video on the channel. If you're new here, I would like to ask you just to like to subscribe. Um, yeah, and check out other videos um, on this same topic. I I divide my videos into playlists, but that's uh, outside the topic. So today, today we're going to talk about faith. Uh, I was I was reading the book of um, I was actually listening to the Gospels Matthew Mark Luke I haven't listened to John yet I'm gonna listen to it tonight um, I usually uh, yeah so as I was listening the word and the phrase that I believe God was echoing through those verses was faith faith versus unbelief. Um, as we know, unbelief is like a disease. It, 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 like there was, there, there, there's some parts in the Bible, in the Gospels, where Jesus could not perform miracles because of the people's unbelief. So, uh, unbelief hinders miracles. And then the other thing I want to talk about is, remember when I was reading this just now, uh, I have my New Testament Bible right here. Uh, I think it's between Matthew chapter 16. I'll just open the Bible here. To 17-ish there. there. There are stories in there that are really rich. I'm going to start with um, the tax. Jesus paying the tax. Now, when you read like the Summer on the Mount, Matthew chapter 5, Matthew chapter 6, chapter 7... There's a part, especially chapter 6, where God is talking about, Jesus is talking about not worrying about what you'll eat, what you'll drink. For only the pagans worry about these things, he says. Um, but seek ye first the kingdom of God, and all these things shall be added unto you. Even when he teaches them how to pray, he says, don't pray like the pagans do, like blabbing and asking and all these things. Just pray. He teaches them how to pray, our Father in heaven, Lord be thy name. Um, give us this day our daily bread, you know. I, I skipped a part. I'm just going to the part, point that I'm trying to make. So, <laughs> when you read that part, you're like, oh, wow. Okay, he's telling us all these things. But Jesus is a good teacher. He's not just the type of teacher that we just say things and not show you how it's done. So, when you reach these later verse uh, chapters in Matthew, you start seeing, even in Mark, you start seeing how he applies them. Now about the do not worry about what you eat and drink and what you wear and all that. In Matthew chapter 17, this is the, the, the chapter I have here. Matthew chapter 17, verse 24 to the end, that is 27, I believe. It talks about, i got the Bible right here in case you're wondering what I'm looking at. This is the whole setup. There's a light up there. There's a piano. There's a TV. This is where everything happens, by the way. Thank God for this place. Uh, it took a lot of faith, and uh, ev by the way, let's just let me just praise, uh, praise. Um, let me just give a praise testimony. All these things you see here, this was not this. Most of them I didn't buy them with my hard-earned money. Most of them God gave me. I could. It's just miraculous. So it's just we're talking about faith and. The point, please don't don't mix my point. My point is not about money. If you think I'm I'm trying to talk about money here, mm -mm, that's not my point. Uh, my point is about faith. Um, maybe I'll share the story about this this stuff later on. Um, Matthew chapter seventeen verse twenty four. Jesus, uh, Peter. Was going about his way, and then the, let's just read it. Let's just read it, you know. Let's just read it. And when they came to Capernaum, these who uh, these who take up the temple tax came to Peter and said, "Does not your teacher pay the temple tax?" So these guys came to Peter and asked him if Jesus doesn't pay the temple tax. Now, when Peter went back home, before even he could say something. Jesus asked him, what do you think, Peter? Does it benefit the people or those? Or does it? Oh, well, let, let me read what it says. Let me not lie to what. It 
He said, what do you think, Simon? From whom do the kings of the earth receive custom or poll tax? From their sons or from strangers? And when he said from strangers, Jesus said to him, so then the sons are free. <laughs> Interesting how he, he says this, because you, you might think he's talking about the kings of the earth and all that, but he might, he might just be hinting something about being a child of God, that you are free. I'm not saying that being a child of God, you're free from paying taxes. No, 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 no. There is a freedom that he was talking about that is, that is later on portrayed. After he says this, said this, he said that so that we can avoid scandal, go and fish. And when you fish, you'll find the coin, the money, the exact amount of money that you need to pay the taxes for. Now, that is the freedom that he was talking about, being a son of God. You're free in that way. You don't have to worry about tomorrow. You don't have to worry about what you'll eat, what you'll drink, because um, Jesus will provide everything for you. That's the type of faith that Jesus is calling us to. The type of faith that allows us to know that God cares about our bills. God cares about our taxes. God cares about, about <laughs> the, our debts, you know? Uh, so I just want to invite you guys into that type of faith. It was so strange when I was listening to the Bible today, that word, faith, faith. Now I'll share with you another story I was reading today. I'll make you feel better that it's not about money because <laughs> most people don't like talking about money. I was reading about the story of the fig tree, right? In this story, Jesus curses this fig tree. And later on, the disciples come back and they see the tree withered. And they tell Jesus, hey, look at the tree you cursed. It has withered to its roots. And then he tells them, I tell you the truth. If you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can tell this mountain, move and it will move. You know what I spent my, my time doing today when I was, uh, during the day, when I was um, escorting my dad? I spent the time looking at a, 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 a car charger. You know, the thing you plug into a car so that your phone can charge. And I kept, because I wanted to exercise my faith. It was so dumb, but so sensible at the same time. I started commanding that thing to move. And I started praying that God will increase my faith. I know it sounds stupid, but here, I want to say this. I want to make this statement. We, right now, this generation, we're the most knowledgeable generation about Jesus. We know, even not, not only about Jesus, about many things we know everything there is to know about things but we are one of the most pow powerless generations that has existed and i i believe that god is calling the church to increase in their faith he wants the church right now in this generation the times that we're in with all these things that are happening he's calling the church to increase their faith to ask for power not for power's sake but so that the world may see the glory of God. The Bible says creation eagerly awaits the manifestation of the children of God. And that's what I want to share with you guys. Faith. Lord, let that be your prayer. I'm going to title this video, Lord, increase my faith. That's, that, that's it. Uh, if you would join me uh, in prayer, and I'll, I will pray this prayer. Um, you can lift your hands up to heaven. Why do you lift your hands up to heaven? I'm holding the selfie stick. That's why I'm not going to lift this hand. But you can lift your hands to heaven if your hands are free. Why do we lift our hands to heaven? Our hands are like antennas spiritually. You might think it's dumb or stupid, but it's, it's, it's real. Um, so f pray, pray this prayer with me. You say, Fa uh, Father, increase my faith. Uh, increase my faith, Father. Where I have been faithless, increase my faith. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Increase the viewer's faith. Let us have faith in you, Lord. Faith to move mountains. I know, in Jesus' name, I know most of them. Thank you, Father. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. He always shocks me whenever I talk about him. I know most people, when they talk about this increase of faith and moving mountains, they, they, they symbolize these things. But I want to invite you to 
make it practical, make it literal. I'm the type of person when I read the Bible and I read that this person was raised from the dead. I want to be able to do those things. So I believe that God wants us to have a greater faith as a church, as a people. And uh, that's my prayer. So God bless you guys. Today was just me face to face. You get to see my face. It's good because I have a new record. Obviously, I didn't cut my hair up there, but I do have a new record. So I do look good. So I can show my face instead of uh, using uh, pixels to make videos and stuff like that. So I do look good. I look presentable. Uh, even my beard is, you can see it looks good. So I'm not going to freak out some people. <laughs> anyway, that is that is the video for today. Uh, like, subscribe. My subscribe is usually on this side, I think, or this side, somewhere here-ish. And then I put like a video recommended. And share it. Please share it. Uh, share it to people who would like to increase their faith. And uh, just just to finish up the, the, uh, this video, I want to share how I got this mic, this piano, this keyboard, everything you see here, the speakers behind there, the, the amps, um, the, the, you know, the audio interface, uh, the guitar. Um, so it has been in my heart. God had, was telling me for years that, like, to start like you know recording stuff like just capturing that's why i have one series called capturing revival and i was was i was always wondering how would i do now listen i was working at the time i was working and i was paying for my bible school i had money like i i could have done it but then um i went to speak somewhere i went to preach somewhere uh up in meadow lake and these guys they they gave me money I had money already. They gave me money. So I was like, um, Lord, I, I don't want to, I don't want to use this money for me. I, I don't want to use this money for me. I, I, first of all, I humbly declined the money. I was like, you know what guys? No, don't give me the money. But then they, you know, there's always this wise person that will tell you, you need to learn how to receive. And I was like, okay, fine. So when I, when I got the money and I prayed and God told me, take this money and buy this and buy that and i'll use i'll use it and that's how i got most of these things and some of it like the guitars and all that i'm sharing this so that you know about faith the guitars and all that um, if you guys know me i've been trying to record music and trying to do music for the longest time i've been trying to ask people some people have carved me but god bless them i forgive them some people you know so when i brought it to god i was like lord i don't want to be dependent on people he brought people into my life who will remain, remain nameless. And I had asked people, I was like, if you guys have even old instruments, old stuff to give me. And this guy, I, to, the, to this day, I don't know who did it, gave the dean of our Bible college uh, these beautiful guitars. Uh, and he, he, put, he put his name, he put my name on it. You know, it was like, this is for Elisha. And that's how I got these things. I'm not trying to brag with it. I'm just trying to say I had faith. I, I I almost have everything I need for a studio. I just don't have like a, a room room. Like I, I had faith for these things. And then, bam, look at that. And funny enough, f funny enough, I go to a church uh, uh, because of my fiance. Thank God she brought me to that church. Um, I, I knew the church before then, but it's a long story. Anyway, I go to a church. The name of the church is Faith Alive. And I, I believe God is really calling this generation to increase their faith. Um, Jesus, when Jesus will come back, he's not coming back for a weak church. He's coming for a glorious church. And uh, may our faith increase. I've already spent 14 minutes talking to you guys. And uh, God bless you guys. Peace. Uh, yeah, peace, love, and joy.